Hello friends, and welcome to my updated uh, Lord of the Rings collection video. Um, it's been a, about a year and a half since the last one. Um, lots of updates, and we'll start in here with the all-familiar Lord of the Rings carpet as you enter. Uh, I'm initially just going to pan up and we'll do a little tour, a little quick little circle of the room. And we'll do a little more up close look at the changes and what's been going on. Um, I have the room lit right now, as I do when I have tours of people that come down and check it out. Uh, well, this lighting may not come through the greatest. We'll see what happens once the video is done. But, uh, you know, things are, uh, things are looking good. We've added a bunch of uh, newer display cases, or at least new to this room. Um, all the display cases in here are 1940 or older. Um, all of them have hue lighting in them, so they can be changed to any color. We got bar dirt lit up. Got the lava going, but we'll 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 take a we'll take a closer look at all this in a minute. Just do kind of a quick pan here. Check everything out. But, uh, you know, there's on this side of the room, less has been changed than on the other side, obviously, where I've added the new case. But there have been a few additions or a few change outs. Things have been moved around a little bit here and there. So we'll initiate from this point. Um, I have my elf case down here where we got a bunch of good elves you know uh and i've added a lot of these mini helmets as well as mini busts throughout the collection and uh a bunch of kyle custom pieces too which are great i really have become quite the fan and i hope to collect them all even though some of them have sold out but the elves have added been increasing since last time for sure and then on the top here, with Treebeard, and King Theoden, and Gambling, and the Rohan Guard, and Aemir, we have uh, the Two Towers table, as I like to call it. Um, we got a couple busts, a couple mini helms, Rohirrin, mini helms, and King Theoden. Got Grimma Wyrmtongue in the back, hiding out, looking freaky. Grisnalch. Um... And then, of course, the Master Collection Tree Beard, which is a perfect thing. And then I got this Orc Warrior in the, in here. I saw another collector put that there, and I really enjoyed that. I think it looks kind of cool. goes really well with the, with the overall look. Right here, I got uh, Glamdring scabbarded in the blue scabbard. And uh, one of his many staffs of Gandalf there. Boromir Sword. Um... Yeah, this has been seen before, but, you know, we got the uh, King Thor on Throne illuminated. I got the great map, which was also shown in one of my videos, but it's got the uh, runes that illuminate, which is really cool, I think. The Azog, the Defila, uh, King Thor on Throne. And then I've added these, anytime I get these master collection boxes for these pieces... I don't really like to display the piece on it, but I do enjoy having them around, and I think this is, looks pretty cool with uh, Dane on Warbore and his helm there below his weapon, and his helm, his big helm. And then we got the uh, the Dogal Door miniature set, which I think is cool, man. Uh, I hope that they were able, you know, they get a little more interested into finishing that because I would enjoy to see more pieces from that for sure we got Gandalf there Gimli Saruman's helm and mace the cave troll by Halimau the war troll by Weta and his helm and then another little war hammer by Sideshow Weta 
and I still got uh, my fell beasts, my two my fell beasts up here. There's one of the bus, and the other one's a little further over. But this case I just put down here. This has been the bane of my existence for a long time. When I ordered this, this case got destroyed by the guys that were supposed to pick it up. All the glass was broken out the top, and one of the legs was broken. So we finally got it back in order. And down here, it's looking great. It's a perfect spot for Gandalf on cart. And this, this bottom case here, I have it set up as like a fellowship theme. You know, we got Saruman and Gandalf and Orthnak before Saruman ruined all the, the glorious trees. And then Gandalf on cart, and then we got a bunch of the the Balrog and the Cave Troll, Balanced Tomb. Just, uh, just a cool, cool case. And I got some Hobbit pieces up here, the Smog Bust. Um, King Thanter on Elk. And then this, this piece is just cool to have com combined together. I just, I just really love it. And then I got some of the old Sideshow Weta plaques in the background and some of the barrel riders there. And the Gentle Giant Balrog bust. House of Bayron up there. And then the Galadriel. The dark Gladrill is just amazing. I don't know if this green light is looking any very well through this video, but I think it looks pretty cool when you're hit physically here. Um, and then I got the another map of the Lonely Mountain. I think this is just cool. And with the light shining up, you can kind of see the runes shine through. It's kind of a cool addition. And then I got the one, two, three Fellowship of the Ring set, the miniature. Which is really cool. Sad that it's so hard to find and expensive to get the first one. And now all of them since they're all sold out. But if you are lucky enough to get them, it's worth it. Uh, there's the other Fell Beast. And then I got some of my Hildebrand art. Which I really enjoy. And King Theoden's Sword. The Argonauts. Eowyn sword, Bilbo and Gandalf, Hildebrandt piece. And then my couch, to accommodate this uh, other case, I had to remove one of the middle sections of the couch, which is well worth it, but i got one less friend to hang out with me now. <laughs> then we got uh, near the entry point again. You know, it's pretty similar. I, trained, uh, I traded out Gandalf for this Galadrim Archer, which I really like that piece a lot. And I got some of these Elvish Helms. And then once again, I got the Master Collection boxes for Treebeard and Gollum. You know, beside the door. Gives it a cool look. And then uh, Black Arrow that killed Small, Glamdring. And Narsil. Um, moving over here. I have a bunch of the Ring Race on the top part and Bus. And uh, some other... Hildebrandt pieces in the background. Sorry for all the glare. But uh, they look great. And I'll come over here and get a little other look inside this case a little better. Got some of the miniatures from Sideshow. Or I mean from uh, United Cutlery. And then that's a Kyle exclusive. And Sideshow piece. Sideshow Weta. Stone Trolls. The Weta Argonaut. Oh man, there we go. Beautifully uh, wood burnt uh, map of Middle Earth. Another Kyle exclusive, uh, Moria Work Cemetery. Or Moria Cemetery, I mean. Um, then I have a bunch of orcs here. And uh, bus and helms, and I really like this this section here. Then down below, I have a little Minas Tirith, uh, Return of the King section, kind of. All these guys, and Battle Troll, and Minas Tirith, and all this good stuff going on here. 
and one in the Nazgul. And then right here, this is my uh, ring collection. And uh, we got all the 19 lesser rings with the one ring of power. A couple busts beside it. This case has really turned out good, in my opinion. Great, actually. Up here, get a little Balrog section. The Balrog bust from Weta. And the uh, uh, Balrog from Weta as well. And then it has some custom whips from uh, my German friend artist, Uli. And then a couple of the Sideshow Weta orcs. And then as we move this down, you got uh, some of the Sideshow Premium Format bigger pieces. And then I also have uh, United Colory Shimitar in there. Looking cool. And then this over here is the oldest case I have. And this has changed a little bit. I mean, the, the pieces up top are a little different. But I really like how it turned out. And you got the little red glare behind Baru Dur. And then down below we have a lot of the original Sideshow Weta pieces. This is all pretty much the same as it was, you know, the interior of the case before, or my last, from my last video. I've got the uh, Toy Biz, my Helm's Deep Gimli collection. I have 10 displayed here. It's my favorite piece from the line and kind of difficult to come by, but every time I see one, I try to snatch it up. And then there's the red box I want to ash fall off. We got Treebeard, Bust, Gollum Smeagol, Sideshow, Frodo and Sam. Then there's the premium format, Frodo Baggins, Faramir, Weta, and a bust a Mexican sculptor made. And we're coming over here. We got the life-size Gollum in this corner. Taking up. That's one of the one of my favorite pieces too. I just love the life-size stuff. Um, up here I have a lot of the, the large sideshow premium format pieces on the top. In between I have a lot of the miniatures from Weta and as well as the bag end, the reverse. The bag end's collector's edition so you can see inside what's going on in there. It's cool. And this is kind of like my, uh, my hobbit hole section. There's a few more that have been released that I'm waiting on to get and, uh, those will be added once I get them. Down here, we got the Fellowship of the Ring Center, which I have all of them represented, and then their bust as well. Except for Gandalf the Grey, which I have in another part of the collection. Over here, you know, this is all pretty much the same from last time. Isildur, and, except I've added a couple of the helms as well as the bus, which were not here last time. And another great Hildebrandt print. So this is like my Bilbo section. Got all kinds of cool artifacts in here. From Bilbo. Saruman. I got these miniatures, like I said, over here still. Keeping that theme going. And then here we got some of the environments. Original environments from the Sideshow Weta line. As well as the Prancing Pona from Weta. And then all the hobbits, or excuse me, all the dwarfs from the Hobbit, including Feely, which is the most difficult one to get. It's looking good there. And then on top of the middle case here, I have a few of the original plaques from Sideshow. But I have them all, but I just haven't really found a good spot to display them yet. So I just have a couple of them out. Then this is kind of like my Aragorn center. We got Aragorn at Helm's Deep. Aragorn with the King of the Dead. And then this custom piece by Kyle. The Tomb of Elisar, which is pretty cool. If you were able to get it, I was lucky enough to find it secondhand on the Flame of Uden. 
Very excited to own that. And then in here, I have the uh, Master Collection Golem. And then some of the older Sideshow Weta pieces with a couple helms. And then on this side, we got the uh, Amon Hen series as of yet. The Boromir Lurts and Aragorn from Weta. And then I'll just continue down this side. And in this case, I have uh, the Hobbit pieces. Saruman and Smog and Yaznag and Torturer. Got a helm there. A couple more of the plaques. Down here we got uh, Azog, Commander of Legions. And then Bard the Bowman. Radagast, the dwarfs, and then on the opposite side of this Lord of the Rings case, we got the Urukai swordsman and swordsman bust and some helms from the Urukai. But um, this is the update. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I continue to, as I continue to add pieces here, I'll continue to uh, update it. Um, you know, feel free to check. Check out some other resources if you're interested in these kind of things on uh, Facebook, the Lord of the Rings Collector Group, as well as um, the uh, Flame of Uden Forum, uh, which is a great resource for finding all kinds of information about these pieces, as well as meeting other people that like this stuff. And uh, I hope to see you around. I hope to see you uh, collecting these pieces and enjoying it like I do, and many others. Have a good day.